journalist at war. This was a really powerful and eye-opening film. I mean, to, to be a journalist in these places, what, what a challenging and dangerous profession. And I definitely, I have to give people props for that. Um, watching this film, it also made me realize kind of how much we take for granted living in America. Um, it was just mind boggling for me listening to some of the people ask what Norway was. So I really feel like, wow, we take so much for granted here. And also to, to see what everybody else was going through, it just it was hard. It was really difficult, especially watching the footage um, that they were able to get from, from ISIS and children driving trucks filled with bombs, knowing that they're going to their death. It was, it was heartbreaking, you know, but I understand the importance of seeing it so that you're aware that this is the kind of stuff that's going on. This is the kind of things that, that aren't right, that need to get stopped. Um, I thought that this film was really, really well done. Um, the interviews, all of the interviews were just absolutely riveting. Um, yeah, as hard as it was to watch this, I, I enjoyed watching it and I felt like I learned something. Journalist at War. This was a really powerful and eye-opening film. I mean, to, to be a journalist in these places, what, what a challenging and dangerous profession. And I definitely, I have to give people props for that. Um, watching this film, it also made me realize kind of how much we take for granted living in America. Um, it was just mind boggling for me listening to some of the people ask what Norway was. So I really feel like, wow, we take so much for granted here. And also to, to see what everybody else was going through, it just, it was hard. It was really difficult, especially watching the footage um, that they were able to get from, from ISIS and children driving trucks filled with bombs, knowing that they're going to their death. It was, it was heartbreaking, you know, but I understand the importance of seeing it so that you're aware that this is the kind of stuff that's going on. This is the kind of things that, that aren't right, that need to get stopped. Um, I thought that this film was really, really well done. Um, the interviews, all of the interviews were just absolutely riveting. Um, yeah, as hard as it was to watch this, I, I enjoyed watching it and I felt like I learned something. Journalist at War. This documentary has striking footage of live battle action interspersed with still photography that was very striking. The journalist himself grew up in war times on the border of Iraq and Iran, and his insight was that it was never documented what happened to him as a child, and that was part of the reason he's a journalist today. He goes for the goal of trying to find upper Europeans that have joined ISIS, but at the heart of the film, the focus becomes the children, the victims of war. And his real concern at the end is that young people, young children are being radicalized and prepared for further conflict. Uh, he documented that well. Thank you. So I just watched Journalist at War. Um, I thought this piece was excellent. Um, this film tells an extremely powerful story. Um, I just thought this was a very, very well put together film. Um, it makes some incredible use of archival and verite and documentary footage. Um, and the imagery in this film is extremely striking and at times unforgettable. Uh, it's brutal and violent and tragic. Um, and I really appreciated how this film highlights the tragedy um, that is involved in these kinds of conflicts. Um, 
I just thought this was great material to shed light on and, and spread the word on. And um, to that end, I thought the film was very illuminating and informative. Um, overall, this film just tells an incredibly powerful story. Uh, it feels very raw. Um, I think the filmmakers did a great job with this piece. Journalist at War. Fascinating look to journalism on the ground, trying to understand people much like himself and see what they're going through. Just incredibly nuanced view, something that you wouldn't get access to in mainstream media where they want a clean, clear narrative. This showed the, the devastating images of destruction, the murder, um, the violence on the streets and the struggle, um, and the stark difference between non-war zones and a war zone. Uh, I just think when I, I personally delve into ideas about war, I have a very vague concept. To just, so to see these images and be confronted by them um, and the brutality made me stop thinking of it as a concept and see the people that are deeply affected by it. Um, and it really is about the other humans and their lives that are being destroyed by by this violence um i thought it was really well laid out well edited and compiled um with a nice through line and flow to the piece as well hey i'm commenting on the documentary journalist at war um i think this is an absolutely incredible uh look at uh, isis's actions in syria and how that's you know affected the region um, this is such a unique perspective, and I feel like this footage is the sort of thing that, you know, it's it's one thing to read about uh, conflicts like this, but it's a totally different thing to see how it plays out sort of in the context of people's everyday lives, you know, just going through neighborhoods that are just war-torn, and um, I think it's really, really valuable and really important. Um, and I love that you are focusing on the perspective of a storyteller here. You know, I think, I think so much of, uh, how war gets reported is absolutely just storytelling. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's the way that, you know, people, I guess, garner sympathy or, you know, what have you. And I think that by focusing on, on this subject and, you know, letting him, sort of describe the way that he goes about this and how he, you know, uh, ends up doing his reporting, I think it was just a really, really unique and really cool way to frame this. Um, really, really fantastic work on this. Um, if there's one thing I would say, maybe you could work on a little bit of the sound design. I noticed it getting a little bit sparse during some of the interviews. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more score, but by and large, I think you're in great shape and I think this is fantastic. Really, really well done. I started my career in journalism and one of the first things that they teach you is uh, freedom of press. Uh, in a way, they try to make you feel that this is sort of a safe space to tell the truth. And as I've gotten older, I've realized none of us are safe. You read about journalists who get murdered in other countries. In America, they lose an eye. Uh, in this case, we see a journalist at war. We follow this Norwegian journalist. Uh, who gets attached on the concept when he finds members of his country, his community, uh, have left to join the terrorist group ISIS. Uh, diving further into the conflicts of the happenings in the Middle East, specifically in Iran, Iraq, and Syria, to name a few, uh, we see these two gentlemen go on a journey to seek out members and ask them what drove them uh, to leave their home to fight in this inhumane uh, movement. We see who this destruction has affected. We watch the propaganda being provided to these individuals. Uh, this shines a light on child soldiers, a group of them in imprisonment uh, for the heinous crimes that they've committed. Uh, some who have yet to even uh, begin to t acknowledge, uh, you know, the damage that's been done here. Uh, I think we need to showcase 
uh, violence uh, involving children and film and uh, TV more and more as it's become such a forefront of an issue. Uh, we get to see this connection uh, between mother and son in this documentary. Along the way, uh, the documentarian uh, meets the mother and later finds uh, her son and they leave a message uh, for her in case they cross paths once again. And that's a, a really loving moment and a shine of positivity that we get to see in this piece. Um, <clears throat> we are simply just not prepared for the stories that we witness as we watch these two men essentially follow uh, the remaining members of ISIS, uh, finding out that their biggest fear is a militia-led group uh, full of women who call themselves the Kurdish. Uh, I think that that is a bittersweet moment for us to have. Uh, they think they will go to heaven and get 72 virgins unless they are killed by a woman. Uh, so... I think it it's, goes to show how strong this moment it is for us when we see uh, one of the Kurdish lose one of their own uh, after a bombing goes off, uh, that they never really complete uh, their original journey that they have gone on uh, to try to get this Norwegian uh, specific perspective. Um, but... Uh, what we have seen is far more important. Um, you know, they got to tell us this gut-wrenching tale of a story that is just necessary for us to see. We need to be informed and seeing these uh, conditions really impact us. And if you're apathetic on the matter, um, I think that's an idealism in itself that needs to be evaluated as to why uh, you feel numb uh, to these heinous situations that are uh, continuously happening in today's climate. Journalists at war, uh, a deep insight of what happens during the war. Um, we usually see the war as a thing that is distant from us, that's never gonna come here. But when you see these kind of documentaries like journalists at war, you actually realize that war is happening every day. Maybe it's not happening here, but it's happening in other parts of the, of the world. And there's people that are actually not just living, but growing up in that situation. Like all these kids uh, that we see, they are intent, they, 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 they can only live in tent, they don't actually have a house. And, there's, and the, the only thing they see is just bombs and uh, weapons and people dying next to them. And as they say in the documentary, it's very easy for them to either become a soldier or just end up in in ISIS or in all the terrorist organization that are fighting these wars uh, around the area. Uh, I like the, the main character as well, the, um, how he explains the difference between being there and then suddenly being at home in Norway, where basically nothing happens every day and everyone are uh, enjoying their life and relaxed and see these these two different worlds, you know, his life with the family in Norway, and then boom, his life in Syria, or when he was younger, when he grew up in Iran, and, and at the border with Iran and Iraq, and he was very uh, intense. You can see the difference. It just takes a four hours, five hours flight to, to completely change your life, you know upside down and uh, I think it was a very powerful um, a powerful documentary well shot with an excellent cinematography and an excellent director